Let's continue our discussion of the real number line. So far, all the numbers that we've plot plotted on the real number line have been integers, or in other words, they've all been whole numbers. Now we'll learn about plotting fractions. Say we want to plot the fraction x equals 3 halves. Well, the first thing we want to do is write 3 halves as a mixed number. We can rewrite it as 1 and 1 half. Then on our number line, since 1 and 1 half is a positive number, we'll be going over to the right. First we'll add 1, and then the last step we have to divide into two pieces, and we'll go over 1 half, or one of those two pieces. And that gives us the number 3 halves. Let's plot another one. How about x equals negative 7 thirds? Well, since this number is negative, we'll be going over to the left. Let's rewrite it as a mixed number. We get negative 2 and 1 third. So we'll go over 1, 2 whole numbers to the left. And then we need to go over 1 third more, so we'll split the last one into thirds, and we'll go over one of those. Now 7 thirds is that number. Next we'll talk about plotting decimals. Decimals are also real numbers. So let's look at, for instance, plotting x equals 2.4. Well, the 2 in the 2.4 is two whole numbers, and we're moving over to the right since 2.4 is positive. So let's go 1, 2. And the 0.4 represents 4 tenths of a whole number, and so we'll split the last step into 10 pieces, then we'll go over 4 of those, and that gives us the number 2.4. Now let's look at x equals negative 1.7. We have one whole number, and we're going to the left, so we'll go over by 1, and then we need to split that last piece into tenths, and then we're going to go over 7 of those for the 0.7, and that gives us negative 1.7.